Hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. So today I am going to show you how I redo my pantry. I have three places of where I've been putting my pantry stuff and this is the new setup. And then I also have this right back here and you'll see how I do it in just a second. Here you go. So this is my kitchen right now. Um, ignore the mess on the table. But this is what we usually keep our baking goods and some other things in there. And then our microwave is on top. So I wanna move this cabinet downstairs and the microwave into that corner. So we're gonna see how that looks. It. I don't know if I love the empty space up here, but I don't know. I could set taller things on top or put some baskets up here. My idea, I think, is to get two of them. Obviously, I'm going to secure them to the wall, but I think I might get two because I think another one will fit right next to it. So I have all these containers that I've been putting food in and stuff, so I think I'm going to start transferring some of the food that's on my table into these containers. So this is what it looks like so far, and I'm starting to like transfer all my cereals and things into cereal containers, and I want them to all be like the same kind. And then I have a lot of stuff, but it's going to be kind of hodgepodge and a little it won't be super fancy, but I do, I mean, I am excited. So I actually made this myself with some cardboard and um, contact paper. And that's been working pretty well and it holds up these baskets. And then I have some wire baskets that will hang right there and they're like the perfect size. So these are from Ikea and they're only $4 for this wire basket. They fit like a glove, it's crazy. I did measure them before I picked them up because I was like, I don't want to take them home and have to only put two in there. So I got this like over the door shoe hanger, shoe organizer at Walmart for $5. And it has these hanging, door hanging thingies. And we're gonna hang this on the doorway up here.
pretty good about this. These are some canned goods, some baking stuff. I think these will go in like little the little pockets on the side, on the door maybe. few things that I've done to this pantry since moving in. Um, we installed these two shelves right here and I painted them white and then that shelf up there was already there. This was like a coat closet but we weren't utilizing it as a coat closet and we needed the space in our kitchen. We don't have a ton of space in our kitchen, so, but we weren't utilizing this space in here at all. Like, I don't think we had anything in there. Maybe some things hanging up. So I had Devin install these two shelves and then, yeah, so it's been perfect to add these hanging bins right there. I'm gonna try and fit everything in here without having to adjust it too much because I wanna have my kitchen clean for one night before I go back into my pantry and adjust everything. Have everything in the pantry and I'm not gonna lie it's been there for like at least a week and a half <laughs> I'm just sitting in my pantry and I think it's actually kind of a good thing because then I can kind of see what stuff I've been using more so and what stuff um, can go to like the back of the pantry that I don't use as much and yeah so I'm gonna give you a once over but first this has been sitting on my table for days <laughs> like I'm trying to use some of these for my pantry. I'm not going to use all of them. I don't know how many I'm going to use, but I'm sure I'm not going to use all of them, but I want to use some of those in my pantry. And so I'm really liking this system where I just put like all our treats down here. And then this is what this looks like right now. And I don't think I'm going to change it anytime soon. I think it looks great. I'm not worried about it. At some point, I do want to move that onto that shelf and then my crock pot into here somewhere because I don't use my crock pot as often but I do want it upstairs and I just I don't think it looks as good as my instant pot does so I want to put that down there and then it's easier to get to I don't have to reach up as high but I'm gonna start getting rid of some of these and put them in my pantry I want to see if I can fit this down here it works this is the door I definitely don't hate the way this is right now. I think it does need a little organization, but honestly, like even if I kept my pantry like this, I don't think I'd be mad at it. So I'm just gonna see if there's like a few things that I can kind of adjust. It's not like the most perfect thing ever, but it is better than what it started out as, like so, so much better. Um, I feel like I can actually put more things in here if I need to. I even brought up all of my food storage, not that it was that much, but I brought up all of my food storage from downstairs other than like all the bottled waters. 
and I'll probably restock up on like my food storage and stuff. But this is where we're at. And okay, I'm gonna take you on a quick tour through my pantry. I'm gonna start on the door. Um, there's no like complete rhyme or reason, but there's baking items and cooking items. And then this is the level of all the stuff for Dan, like these three things. And then I'm gonna actually get more of these. These are just gloves that I use to cut onions because I hate cutting onions. And then we have some snacks, some more stuff, some like hazelnut spread. But then up here is where like most of the breakfast items are and then this little container. And then this is all of the baking items and little snack cups, snack section. Um, that's for Dan. And then down here is all our canned goods and I tried to make it so that it was easy. So some cornflakes, which I actually use for like casseroles and stuff and then instant potatoes. Some onion soup, which I use in other recipes, like I use it in my chili and other things. All the ready-made meals are here. And down here I have like my tin foil and bags and stuff. So there's those. And then I have, this one's kind of miscellaneous. And this has all of our cookie cutters and some cookie decorating stuff. But then back here is half a bag of pinto beans. <laughs> It's huge, it's like an eight pound bag of pinto beans, but it's only like half of it. And then some left, some extra sauces and some salsa, chips, and then some snack foods and more snack foods. And I'm really liking it a lot. I think that it's going to be really effective and over time it's gonna change, I am sure of it, but you can't go wrong with a pantry that fits your needs and that feels definitely more organized than it has been. And I think this shoe organizer was such a good idea. I don't know where I got the idea from. I just got this one at Walmart for $5. These containers I got at on Amazon, I will have them linked below. I really like these because I just have really big containers downstairs of my flour and sugar, but I don't want to pull them out every time I need flour or sugar. So I'm glad that I got those. Yeah, but I'll have them linked below. So I'm going to use this one for some homemade disinfectant wipes that I made today. Um, I wasn't using this container, so I'm like, that's perfect for that. But it comes with four containers and the labels and it was only 20 bucks, so I thought that was a really good deal for those. Oh, I also got these ones on Amazon as well for our wedding and I'll have those linked below as well. They're really nice too. I could put like pasta, like spaghetti noodles in it and stuff like that. I don't know if I'm gonna put anything in those right now, but I do like those containers as well. I'm really excited about my pantry, so comment down below if there's anything that you would change about it. Please hit one of these two videos right here. This one is when I decluttered under my kitchen sink and it looks so much better. So go click that one right there or this one right here, which YouTube thinks is what you guys want to watch. And don't forget to subscribe right here and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.